Hi, in today's video we are going to look at downloading the Starfront program, installing it on your computer, registering your software and then also how to do the online reactivation of your software. To download the Starfront program you need to go to either the Starfront website or the Stargate website where you will find a link to the reactivation and registration page. The page you want is sf4registrations.stargate.co.za There will be a link in the description below. Once you go to that website, you will see the following. You start off at the home page, then you have certain icons across the top. You have a register icon, a reactivate icon, find my details, downloads and contact us. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the downloads tab. And here you will get the instructions on how to download Starfront 4. With the download you have two options. You can either download the program without any documentation and that is about 310 megabytes in size or preferably you download the program with documentation which is about 780 megs in size. So to download that, the program you click on the download button and at the bottom of your screen you will get a message that it is downloading the program. Once that download is complete you can click on the arrow and that will take you to your download folder. When you go to your downloads folder you will see there will be a file setup.exe and the size of that file will depend on whether you downloaded the full version with documentation or just the core program. So here I've downloaded just the core program and to run the program select that file setup.exe and simply double click on that file. That will then run the setup program for you. It uses the install shield program to do the install. And in my situation, I get a message that there's already a version of Starfront installed on your machine. But if you don't, you will just go through the normal installation process, enter your name and your company name, go next, next, next and install the program. Once that installation process is complete, on your desktop, you'll have an icon that says Starfront 4. Now remember, the first thing you need to do is to right click on that icon, go to properties, go to advanced and put a tick in the box run as administrator. That will ensure that the program has got the right security permissions to create files and to do everything that it needs to do. Then you can click on OK, apply, continue and your program is now set to run as administrator. The first time you run Starfront after a new install, it will check if there are any updates that need to be loaded. So here on my computer, update number 311 is loading. So it will automatically load that update for you. Then it will do the normal rebuild process. In my situation, I don't have a stockist price file, so I'm getting a price file warning. You may or may not get that. And then it gives us our legal disclaimer. We can accept that disclaimer and it takes us into the Starfront program. Now, the first time you run the program, the computer, your computer is going to ask you to select your stockist and enter your stockist password. Now in order to do that you need to register the program. So we're going to go back to our website where we went to download the Starfront program and we're going to click on the register button. That will take us to the registration page and here you fill in your details. 
So I'm going to fill in my name, my surname, my email address. I'm going to use support at Stargate because mine is already registered. Your telephone number, your company name, and then you need to select your Creolco distribution partner. Your CDP, your Creolco distribution partner, is your stockist, the person that you buy aluminium from. So I am just going to choose, um, let's just say Conway's Randberg as my stockist. You have to choose a valid CDP, otherwise the program will not give you the necessary passwords you need. So I then will click on the register button. And then I'll get a message on my screen which says successfully registered. Please check your email for your registration details. And you will get your registration details in your email. So here it will assign your serial number, it will tell you what your registered email address is and it will tell you that you've selected in this situation Conway's Ramberg as my stockist and it will give me my stockist password. So what you can do is you can copy your stockist password, highlight it, right click and say copy. On your program you would go and choose that particular stockist, so we choose Conway's, we put in the password for Conway's and we say accept. So that is your process to register with that stockist and now it warns you that Starfront will close and rerun to download the latest price files for you. So you can say OK and exit the program and go back in and the program will load the latest updates for you. Once you have done that you will be prompted on the program to register your application. You will have a screen that looks something like this and what you will do is you will get the serial number from your email. Let's go back to your email, get your serial number, copy it and paste it in to your serial number box, put in your company name, your username and your email address and then you click on the green tick button and your program is now registered. That is the download the registration process. Then every three months the program is going to ask you to reactivate. Now again this is done online so it's very simple for you to do. You will go to your reactivation screen and you click on this button, it says click here to reactivate Starfront for online now. So you click on that button, it tells you the following details will be sent to your email. So this will once again take you back to the registration website. It will automatically fill in your serial number for you and you simply click on the reactivate button. It will say successfully reactivated. Thank you for reactivating Starfront. Please check your email for your reactivation details. So once again, I can close that. I can go back into my email. Then I will have an email, hi Stephen Levanderos, thank you for reactivating your Starfront program, your new expiry date and your new activation code. So you'll take that expiry date, which is the 15th of the 8th, 2020, you'll take the code, I'm just going to copy the code, you'll go back into Starfront and you put in here the 15th of the 8th, 2020, and the reactivation code, you put in the reactivation code that comes from on your email, and you say check. So those are the steps that you need to go through to download, install, register and reactivate your program. Once your program is installed and registered, you only do that process once. The reactivation process will happen about every three months. Now that reactivation online system is available 
So whenever you need to reactivate your program, you don't need to phone anyone. You can simply just click on the reactivate button. It will take you to the website and you reactivate your program. So once again, thank you very much for taking time to watch this video. We trust you're going to stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy. And we'll see each other again soon for the next video. Bye-bye.